Frankie, uh, I am not the world's best salesperson. I teach sales. I love sales. I train in sales. It's super fun, but I'm not amazingly good. That the harder they are to find and the harder it is to scale. Like I yeah. was, like, you yeah. run, if you run a burger restaurant and you depend on finding the next Gordon Ramsay to run it, you're going to have a you're done. bitch of a time. You're done to, before you start. But yeah. if you have like a McDonaldized systematized process that really like any pimply faced teenager with a, a yep. little bit of work ethic can step into and do, you can build a, you know, however many yep. hundred thousand stores they have across the planet and get consistency across it. Cause it's, it's, it's the process in, you know, the marketing, the branding and everything that comes yeah. before that. And so like you said, they're, they're order takers. McDonald's doesn't depend on you, like the guy having a super killer sales knack and a consultative skills yep. and has been trained in Grant Cardone's 10X. It's just like, they're just order takers at that point. And, yep. and I think that's a really good metaphor for an agency because the, the more you can create like an order taking kind of thing and have your marketing on point, it just scales better. It just, it always yep. scales better than, than always dependent on like super high skill sales. And I've yep. had some awesome ones over the years, like a, a couple who may even be watching. Totally. That. But man, like you, you don't feel super secure when you're like overly dependent on your like superstar salesperson. You're like, am I paying them enough? What if they just disappeared tomorrow? What if they want to go yeah. do their own thing? Like your business can go to shit in a really yep. short period of time if you're dependent on, on you know, like super high skill salesmanship. Yeah. So here, here's the process I use to begin McDonaldizing your sales calls while you are on the on the phone or on Zoom or on whatever, and that you to your people very quickly. Will you role play with me for a second, Jason? Let's do. I mean, I mean Frankie, Jason, where did that come from? Okay. Um, I, I'm seeing my friend, my friend Jason's texting me about dinner tonight. Yeah. So, um, Frankie, uh, I am not the world's best salesperson. I teach sales. I love sales. I train in sales. It's super fun, but I'm not amazingly good. My, I let my systems do the heavy lifting for me. Do you mind if I don't try and be smooth on a sales call about our sales team a day process? Do you mind if I just, if I tell you the price right now at minute four of our sales call, will you stick with me for the next 40 minutes and find out if it's actually a good fit? Is that okay? Yeah, that's cool. I'd actually, cool. that'd be better for me. There you go. Nobody ever says no. And then, so I've gotten one commitment right there. I've got a yes. If they're qualified, then if they run away screaming after this, that means I got something badly wrong in my funnel or they're missing an integrity piece, like the way they run their business. I'm not saying they're unethical. I'm just saying they're missing some integrity if they run away after that, after they make that promise right there. You just promised me 40 minutes, right? So it's not a micro commitment. It's a, it's practically a trial close, you know? Yeah. So cool. All right. It's $18,000. Now I can relax. Do you need to run around screaming or have a heart attack or anything like that? Are you okay? That's probably more than I was planning on spending today, but we can certainly talk about it. Okay. Well, let's talk it through and, and let's see where we get done. That's the technique. Now you gave me the middle answer there. You'll get one of three answers. Yes, that's in range, or that's more than I expected to spend, or some version of that could be tough, or, yeah. or I don't know. And then, uh, nope, can't do it. That means if somebody gives you a nope, can't do it, that means you have a, a qualification issue and a self-qualification issue. You're not getting people through the right marketing funnel to be able to do that. You're getting leads that should have been DQ'd already on this sales call. I so, say, by the way, there's there's a hidden metric in every funnel that people talk about click through rates, and I hear my kids yelling in the next room. <laughs> That's part of the joint. Right? Um, attention is the currency, right? It is uh, are the right people coming through the system? And yeah, you got to go talk. You got to hurt, honey. You're gonna have to go show mommy that he's uh, Okay, can you guys go play in your kids' room for ten minutes, and I'll come get you. Okay, she wants to make some fart noises, so it's getting serious here. You All please right. continue while we're making fart noises over here. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, please make the fart noises at the appropriate times to accent my points. Okay, that's that's the really th the thing that I really care about. 
So it does a few different things here. One of them is that it is very different from what anybody else does on a sales call yeah. or what almost everybody else does. What 95-ish percent of all other salespeople do on sales yeah. calls. And it's not an, I give up, throw up your hands. Here's the price decide like that can be its own defeatist sort of attitude. This is an engaged. I just got a promise from you. And then I usually ask it something along the lines of, okay, do you need to run around screaming? Um, or are, are we good? Is that even in range? Should we keep on talking? I usually ask another question, another promise right after that. Should we even keep on talking? Yeah. And then I'll get the, and then I'll get the answer there. Um, and so that gives us, if they say, yes, that's in range, we are about 60% closed, just a little over halfway closed at minute four of the call. Yeah. Like it makes it so yeah. easy. It turns, By the way, it, I'd yeah. say like 60, 70, 80% of sales calls are them just curious to find out the price. And when you mentioned the order taker, it's an obstacle to order taking. If I got to sit through 90 minutes sometimes for you to just tell me how much it is. There's that. There's that. Hey guys, if you like this video, you'll probably also like our free Facebook group, Beyond Agency Profits, Agency Lifestyle Design. Uh, you can get free copies of the book inside here. It's, I look ridiculous. We're doing weekly Q and A's, giving answers to all your questions. Some of the best, smartest, brightest people. We've got lots of industry leaders doing seven, eight figures and beyond. It's a literal who's who of the brightest uh, agency owners that I know, as well as lots of tips on scaling and stuff, books that work. So if you're not already part of it, uh, you're going to want to be part of it. So make sure to click the link. I put it in the description of the video as well as in the pinned top comment below. So just scroll down and you can join and it's totally free.